So I want to show you how I have my mouse configured for Battlefield 3. I have a G700 mouse here. It's from Logitech. It has a number of buttons. It has four thumb buttons. It's got three to the left of the index finger. It's got a left and a right mouse button. And of course, it's got your center mouse button. Uh, these two mouse buttons, this is really a mechanical, um, a mechanical switch, uh, in essence. Uh, it changes the free wheel, free wheel spinning of the, the, of the mouse wheel. If you can hear that, it's kind of a ratchety thing. And if I let it go, now it'll fly like it's really it really flies nice but I usually have it just ratcheted down so that you really can't program to do anything it's just connected to that wheel uh, this button is actually set to uh, control the mode these lights indicate what mode I'm in and what that essentially means is I can program all the functionality of all these buttons which are programmable I can set them one way and then toggle the mode like I have a battlefield mode maybe I have a development mode maybe I have a web browsing mode and, and that'll toggle that and then, of course, these lights kind of let me know uh, which mode I'm in. So without further ado, let's take a look at the battlefield um, configuration. So essentially, you know, my primary, I'm going to hold it up here. It's not going to be easy for me to shoot or do things with, but I, I want you to see that's my, my shooting. And of course, my zoom is my right mouse button. Then I have a toggle primary right up here, and that comes in handy when you're shooting somebody and you run out of bullets and it takes long to reload so just switch to your primary and there you go so if you've ever wondered how someone switched to their primary so fast that's how it's done uh, that in conjunction with uh, setting your toggle primary weapon um, uh, keyboard mapping and I'll show you how to do that uh, at the end um, this is my uh, grenade so I could chuck grenades just by clicking this button right here and then this button over here is my reload. So I got, I got all this functionality just right up here. And then, of course, if I want to yeah, drop a med pack, that's right here, top thumb button. Or if I want to pull out my defibrillator. So you can switch gadgets. And it actually maps out really well if I'm playing support. It pulls out, you know, the right um, gadgets. You know, kind of it maps out to my favorite gadgets. Um, if I want to crouch, go prone. So crouch, go prone, and if I hit it again, if I'm prone and I hit the same button again, I'm back to standing. Or if I'm prone, I'm sorry, if I'm crouched and I hit it again, I go back to standing. So that's very helpful. So let me uh, show you, by the way, um, how you want to set up your toggle primary because that's not a default setting. Options, key bindings, and if you scroll down here, uh, you'll see that your toggle primary, this guy right here, I've mapped it out to the number one key. So I could actually press one on the keyboard and it'll also toggle my primary to my pistol and back and forth. And again, that's usually, I think by default, not mapped out to anything. So that's kind of a trick without, without even, you know, mapping it to your mouse. So you need to do that because, uh, you know, you don't want to be hunting for, you know, your primary weapon on the keyboard when, you know, you need to pull that gun out fast. So again, in this case, I've mapped it to the number one key. And then of course I've mapped this mouse button to act as the number one key and and the same thing with the rest of these for the most part they're you know when i press them they're acting like whatever key on the keyboard and that's how my mouse is mapped for battlefield 3